What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you again for tuning in and welcome to another mod. Two years. This has been in the works for two years and, and let me take a step back and talk about three things we're going to do today. One, obviously we're going to solve paddle shifters. That's a given. Um, but number two is I think I found the perfect paddle shifter and let me emphasize for me. I think I found the perfect paddle shifter for me and that leads into number three. Why has it been two years? I have been obsessed with trying to find the perfect paddle shifter. I looked at everything. I looked at carbon fiber, color painted match, aluminum, steel, it's just all different types of paddle shifters and I realized trying to find the perfect paddle shifter is like trying to convince your friend what the perfect color car is and um, the, it's just there isn't. So don't make the mistake I did and um, just try to over obsess. I, I am a little OCD when it comes to things but this is one of the first ones I looked at two years ago and I was like well I need to explore all my options and I just I, I wish I would have done this longer but enough is enough we're gonna do it today let's see what I got what I find is the perfect paddle shifter for me and lo and behold there's there's so much lighter than I thought I didn't think they would be heavy but um, Lo and behold, I went with the brand I've already gone with, with the interior of the car, and that is Pedal Hauls. Get the other one here. I mean, if this is not Batman's paddle shifter, I mean, this looks like, I mean, th this is, I'm, I'm, I've seen my other videos, I'm a huge Batman fan. Um, side note, <clears throat> I, I already, I already love them, they're not even in the car. So, that is my little PSA to you guys. Don't over obsess. The perfect paddle shifter is the one that strikes your heart. And uh, the, these do it for me. Enough is enough. We are going to get inside the car. Uh, because we have to take the airbag out, we do have to disconnect the uh, battery in the back. I'm going to plug in some footage if you don't know how to do that from a previous video. Um, but make sure that you disconnect your battery. We are taking the airbag out. Don't get discouraged by that. That's actually the easiest part, taking the airbag out. So we are going to get to it and uh, let's put them in. All right guys, real quick, I'm just gonna show you the tools that I'm using for this video and to do the paddle shifters, and this is pretty much it. A 10 millimeter socket, and that is gonna to be to remove the uh, negative terminal for the battery. A decently thick um, Phillips, and I use this to push up to release the airbag for the spring retaining clip, so decently thick Phillips. Uh, a T10 and T20. T20 will to remove the paddle shifter from the steering wheel. The T10 will to remove the paddle shifter from the sleeve. Um, I'm going to use one of these pick tools. I don't think this one because that looks a little spiky. So I think I'm going to use this micro Phillips for my pick tool set. That way I don't leave like a little piercing mark when I release that little uh, plastic rod, which I'll show you in a second. Oh, and of course uh, a headlamp. Um, it's going to make it a lot easier to uh, see what I'm doing. So I use that in a lot of interior videos. Um, but this is it. So let's get to it. All right, so very first thing that we needed to do since we are going to be removing the airbag for this install is we need to disconnect the battery. So in the F80 and F82, it is in the rear. Uh, you just have to take this little knob and turn it to the left and then just pull and kind of rock out because there's a little tab on the bottom and just slightly lift up out of the way. And there is the battery and we need to disconnect the negative side which is this guy right here. And I believe it is a 10 millimeter. And it seems like a 10 is working. So we're gonna go with that. And there we go. Negative is disconnected. And we're going to put this out of the way so it doesn't retouch again. So in the event that somehow it pops up by me sitting in the vehicle or sitting out, I'm going to cover that negative and then I'm also going to cover the port here. So there's no way that either one of these should be able to touch. Okay, so now that we've removed the negative, the battery is disconnected, there's no power going to anything. I need to give credit where credit is due, and this goes to Keys Motorsports, specifically Brian. He has the genius idea of covering this up in the event that you uh, forget that you disconnected the battery, or a friend or a relative, your wife, girlfriend walks by and goes, hey, you left your trunk open, I closed it for you. Um, he covers this up and ties a little knot. That way you can't get locked out. I think that's a genius idea, so I want to give a shout out to Brian. So tie a little nice knot. That way in the vent, someone closes the trunk or you forgot that you disconnected the battery, you won't have a really long day. All right, let's go inside. 
All right, so we've confirmed that the battery is disconnected, so now it's time to remove the airbag. Uh, what you'll notice is if you feel around the edge and bottom of the steering wheel, right around here and here, there are two holes. Um, I would say probably around the eight o'clock and around the four o'clock position. Um, what we're gonna do is just take something uh, small round. I have a screwdriver and we're gonna push that up in there and we're gonna give it a little push and you'll feel like a little, kind of like a spring. Now what's it going to do? It's going to release a pin on the right side and then a pin on the left side. There's the left side. <coughs> There's the right side. Okay, so now that we pulled it out, what we're releasing here is this little, if you can see this little silver guy right here, it might be tough to tell, but that's uh, what we were pushing up and releasing a clip, a retaining clip off that. Now that this is out, uh, we have a harness here that we need to just kind of push down and pull out. Squeeze, push, and remove. All right, the airbag is out. Carefully put this to the side. All right, the airbag is out. It's on the passenger seat there. Uh, so it is basically, we're gonna do this without taking the steering wheel off. Um, it's gonna be a little tight. Um, there's not a lot of slack, but it saves a lot of steps. And it is held on with just uh, one bolt for the left paddle shifter. It's that guy right there, which is the T20. And on the right side, it is at the three o'clock position. It is that T20 right there. So just uh, two T20s. One for the right, one for the left at the nine o'clock and three o'clock. So we're gonna take those out now. All right, so once you take that uh, T20 out, your paddle shifter is just gonna dangle. Like I said, I'm gonna do the uh, driver side or the downshift paddle first because I can get the camera a lot closer and because, um, yeah, the angles are tight. So it's just kind of dangling here. To separate this paddle shifter, there's just a plastic bar. And you'll see a little circle uh, right there and a little circle right there. Um, the smaller circle, this bar only goes in one way. It only comes out one way. So you're going to put, to take a little pick tool, find the smaller side, take that and just push this bar. Since I can line it up here, you'll see that it just comes out like that. And then you're going to take this, put that aside. Don't lose that. And then this should separate here and be careful when you take this out because there is like a little spring and a little plastic clip. Take this, push it back, rock it out, and really careful, you'll see that little spring that will come loose, pop out. Uh, so just keep an eye on that. Uh, that is all right, but we're just gonna take that spring and I'm going to carefully put that to the side along with that bar. All right, paddle shifter is out. I've put that bar and that spring in a safe spot. Uh, it's possible a little plastic piece might uh, pop off. If you do, just you're gonna put that back. Um, that's what actually pushes the paddle shifters down, but uh, mine stayed on. Uh, this is a T10, and we need to transfer this th to the new paddle shifter. So get a T10 and loosen this guy up. All right, I put the uh, T10 safely aside with that spring and the bar. Uh, this is very, just, just, just pops off like this. Put that aside. Uh, and this might be difficult to see, but this back piece is just held on with these two little black retaining clips. So it looks like you should just be able to push them down. There we go. All right. They were being a little stubborn, but yeah, that's all it really is. This is just these tiny little uh, clips. All right, so we can put the old paddle shifter and get our new pedal hoss shifter. All right, so with that black plastic sleeve that we just removed from the old paddle shifter and our new awesome paddle shifter, we're gonna take this, those retaining clips are gonna go into these little two holes, so we're just gonna simply slide that back and line it up. You'll see a little cutout circle there that is gonna have to go through that. So, and it's gonna go in these sleeves. So just a reverse order making sure it gets lined up with that hole there. And there we go. And just for extra caution measure, I'm just going to take my little pick tool and kind of just give it a little tap tap, 
make sure it's seen those holes so when I go like this, it doesn't slide back out. And it's good. Now we can get our T10 and uh, bolt that back down. All right, with our paddle shifter on our sleeve, grab the black plastic cover that we took off. You're just gonna sit that sleeve, that back housing into there, make sure the hole's lined up, and then you can grab your T10 and bolt this back to the back cover sleeve. And just so it's snug, don't over tighten it. It is snug. We're just double checking to make sure that this still stayed attached in case that popped off that just goes over that. It's actually what pushes down on the paddle. Take that spring that came loose. We're gonna put it back over that little peg there. Grab our newly assembled paddle shifter. And we are going to take uh, the thing with the plastic bar. Obviously it's gonna go in the back where those two holes are. All right, with that sandwich back together, uh, we're gonna grab our black little plastic peg that we took out. Obviously this is gonna go back in um, the same direction. So we're gonna take the small hole, go into the big hole, push that down as much as we can, and then, oh, might be able to get it without a tool. Just to make it a little extra secure, because it's just almost not sitting flush, just kind of secure that down with a little, and there we go. So now we can take this and mount it. And I'm just kind of making sure that the paddle shifter is resting in that housing. Everything is lined up and fastening down. I like how Pedal Hoss kind of did like this cutout on the back. Kind of gives you this recessed feeling. It looks, oh man, I got to get a shot of this. There we go, guys. There is a sneak peek. I mean, that is so badass looking. That is so badass looking. And I, 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 I talked about that cutout feel. Like, I like how Pedal Hoss kind of did this recessed feeling. It just feels premium. It looks premium. Well, I mean, it is. It's Pedal Hoss. I cannot wait to do the other side. I mean, look at the, look at the difference. It, lo it looks puny now. All right. Um, at this point, uh, I'm going to do the exact same process on this side. Obviously going to skip it because it's the exact same steps. And then we are going to uh, see it in all its glory. Set this down back on the terminal here. Oh! Alright guys, so the airbag is in. I reconnected the negative terminals with battery so we have power. I'm about to show you the reveal. This is exactly what I wanted it to be. This is exactly what I was had in my head and I, I love when that comes to fruition. Like, I hope it turns out and it's it nailed it. It's ex These are Batman's paddle shifters in my car. <laughs> anyway, here it is. I love the inside even more. I keep saying that, but man, this just is like aggressive and masculine and just premium and Batman. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I'm so glad I finally pulled the trigger. And it just makes sense. Like um, matching with the, the pedal hauls pedals here. Let me turn this around. Just, you know, when you kind of sit back and you get a view of the paddle shifters and the, you know, the pedals at the same time, just the whole interior is just, that is just, it's so cool. I just can't stop staring at it. The inside is just so, I, I love, it's exactly what I wanted it to be and how I envision my head. And I love when those two things come together and um, I'm just overly happy. It's the perfect paddle shifter for me. The perfect paddle shifter for you is whatever speaks to your heart. Don't over obsess like how I did for a really long time. Just pull the trigger on it. And uh, this is a lot easier to install than I actually thought it would be. If you found today's video useful, I greatly appreciate a thumbs up. If you have any questions, leave a comment. And if you haven't done it already, please subscribe. Catch you guys next time. Out.